Desperate pleas for answers from the families of the three children who were shot by stray bullets. The cases of Ladavion Garrett Jr., Trinity Audison Smith, and Anaya Allen are still unsolved tonight. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kelsey Carlson. And I'm Amy Hawker. That reward now $180,000 for answers that lead to an arrest and conviction. Fox 9's Paul Bloom joins us live tonight. Paul, clearly emotions were high today as these family members have been waiting months for an arrest. Well, Amy, consider this. LaDavion Garrett was shot in the head on April 30th. We're now coming up on mid-August. His family, his grandmother, you heard her there. Enough is enough. It's time for witnesses to step forward. It's time for people who know something to say something. This silence is killing our family. LaDavion Garrett Jr.'s grandmother describing an agonizing 100 days. Then when is somebody going to say something? We deserve answers. We deserve to know. It was 100 days ago the 10-year-old was shot in the head while riding in a vehicle in North Minneapolis. The boy awake now in the hospital still fighting, but two other innocent youngsters were killed by unintended bullets just weeks later. Nine-year-old Trinity Otteson Smith and six-year-old Anaya Allen. So far, some leads, but no arrests in the three unsolved shootings. Authorities and the children's loved ones now hoping that money talks. A new reward, $180,000, courtesy of Spotlight on Crime and Crime Stoppers of Minnesota, for tips leading to convictions. There have been a number of leads. There is evidence, but we need more. We need more from community to come forward, to be willing to share more information, so we can help these families out. It's a war zone out there, again. It's a war zone. Investigators believe the shootings likely stem from ongoing feuds between rival gangs, complicating efforts to get witnesses to talk or to turn in those responsible. On Monday, the message loud and clear, the 180K can be had with total anonymity. That should be no secret. These were kids. These, these were babies that didn't deserve this. Why is this so cold a silence for our babies? They didn't deserve this. $180,000. You will remain anonymous. Say something. Do something. Give us some type of closure, please. And a few final notes on all of this. That $180,000 in, re in reward money, that's considered a, a record uh, here in the state of Minnesota. As for LaDavion, I know a lot of you have gotten invested in his story. He is awake in the hospital, Twin Cities area hospital. He is in therapy six days a week, not quite talking yet. But again, the family hopeful about his recovery. As for tips and where you can go, we'll put information for that Crime Stoppers. You can absolutely remain anonymous. Look for that information on our website. You'll also start seeing billboards around the community, again, trying to bring attention on these three still unsolved shootings. We're live in Minneapolis tonight. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.